Green Heck. Building value in air. Welcome back to the shop. Today, we are going to set up a fractional very green motor and we're using a downblast G unit for demonstration. Let's go through this motor a little bit. These motors are available in 1 15th all the way up to and including two horsepower. They're single phase only. Now these motors, most all of them are also tri-voltage. You'll know that because of this red wire right here. This is called the voltage doubler. When this wire is plugged in, it is set up for 110 volts to be supplied to the fan. If I disconnect this wire, now I can supply 208, 230, or 277 to power this motor. Now keep in mind, when these fans are ordered, the way the fan is ordered is the orientation that this is gonna come in, but it is field configurable. Also, as long as we're looking at these motors, there's a couple other parts I wanna point out. Right here is our nine pin Molex plug. This nine pin plug is how I tell this motor how fast to go. Now, every EC motor, every very green motor has a drive included in the, uh, inside the motor. And that drive gives you motor protections, it gives you soft start, has a bunch of parameters. We go through and program all those parameters, except for one, how fast. That's the only one that you need to tell it. There's a couple of ways that we can tell this fan how fast to go. The first one would be using a dial, right? This dial can simply plug into our nine pin and then we can have access to just turn the dial, set it to our speeds, do our test adjust balance and away we go. Now there are other ways I can tell this motor how fast to go as well. If I remove this, I can use a wiring harness. Now this wiring harness is a two wire, has a common and a zero to 10 volt uh, wire. And this allows me to remotely send a signal to the motor telling it how fast to go. And that signal or speed reference is linear. So if I send two volts, I'm telling the motor to go 20%. If I send five volts, 50%. If I send 10 volts, I get the whole 100%. I can simply plug in to that same Molex plug and I can connect the other end to my very green controls, to my building management system, to the controller of your choice, right? So this is how I can remotely control the speed. Now, when this fan is ordered, it comes with the accessories that you ask for. If you ask for a dial or for a zero to 10 control, these come along. And you can actually order them where it sends both of these. Now, keep in mind here, especially when you select both. This dial is typically found in the plastic bag that houses the IOM, the Installation Operation and Maintenance Manual. One that's attached right here, please don't just throw that bag away. Open it and pull your parts out before you lose them. So they come the way you order it. So as far as setting up this fan goes, we have, you know, pick our speed reference, how fast we want it to go. We set our power up correctly. Now, we just have to apply power to the unit. Typically, um, if the fan is ordered with a disconnect, you know, it's wired from the motor to the disconnect right at the factory. So we just need to bring in our power uh, from the street, from the circuit breaker. So I've got my power applied. I have my speed reference here. We're gonna use a dial today. All I really need to do is take a quick look around, make sure that the wheel rotates without any uh, obstruction or interference. Once I know nothing's in it and my fingers are clear, I'm gonna safely go ahead and apply power. The fan will have that slow ramp up to speed, just like that. And I can go ahead and test adjust balance to get the right amount of air movement. Thanks for coming along today. We set up a fractional very green motor talked about the different parts that we need to touch and set up. Uh, if there are any questions, please feel free to contact our customer service group or give us an email. Time to get off the roof. Bye.